Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Freelancer. My name is Marlo, and uh, we are uh, we're near the end of the story mode of this wonderful game, Freelancer. Uh, we've heard a lot of great one-liners. Uh, we've seen some obvious uh, science fiction tropes, and uh, hopefully we've had a lot of fun. We've certainly seen a lot of graphical flicker because this game is a pain to record. But at any rate, uh, when we left off, we were uh, about to go on a uh, another yet another suicide mission for the cause when we found out that we were being attacked. So we're scrambling the ships, and we've got our ship all repaired and nice and shiny again so the nomads can dent it up. All right, let's go. Okay, our objective is to, well, our first objective is to defend the order base, which we will do, but it's to fly into the Nomad home system and activate the Hyper Gate. Uh, it's another suicide mission, and it's about survival, which means they're not actually paying us for this. So, yeah, this is on our nickel. Okay. This is Aurelian. The base is taking heavy damage from the Nomad attack group. Several dozen small Nomad ships. We don't know where they're coming from. You have to hold them off as long as you can. Aurelian out. Good God! They're everywhere! This is Colonel Zane. We are entering combat. This is Alpha Leader, Colonel Zane. Alpha and Beta have been holding ground, but we're taking steady losses. Beta Leader here. We're going in. Whoa! Roger that, Alpha. Oh. That was weird. Uh, I stopped firing, but I let my finger up off the right mouse button, but the uh, guns kept going. Okay, so... Colonel Zane, this is Beta Leader, a large nomad ship just uncloaked in our sector. Yeah, that's bad. I bet it's the base they're launching from. All units, concentrate your fire on the nomad battleship. This is Alpha, engaging the enemy. Watch out, Beta 2, pull up! Understood, we're going in. We lost Alpha 2! Okay. We're getting some supplies from killing them. Um, but, uh... We're engaging the battleship. Yeah, we're Except gonna we launch... Got a command center. What is our primary target? There's many... Beta wing. Concentrate your fire on the engines. Alpha these wing, torpedoes. As we can. It's gonna take a while We're doing well. Let's keep it up. to take this thing down. There are better weapons that we could have uh, in the game, but they're just not really available during the story. Some of the best uh, weapons that you'll find in this game really don't become available until after the story, which in a way is cool. I mean, it gives you something to do once uh, all the one-liners have stopped flying through space and you get to fly through space by yourself. But, at the same time, it's, uh... Boy, this is taking a while. We just now got him down to half. But, uh, yeah, so... It does give you some things to find, uh, once you get out of the story mission, which is good. You know, you want an open world game to have other things to do, and yikes, what is shooting at us? Oh my. Okay, a couple of the interceptors found us, so we're going to have to try to do something about that. Um... We're still in Newtonian mode, in uh, Engine Kill is what this game calls it. 
because that is the best way to not get shot um, all the time. Otherwise, the ships, most of the ships in the game, they're just not maneuverable enough uh, to dodge a lot of the fire. So, uh, in, in regular flight mode, there's a few ships that are, but uh, I'm not very good at flying them. So, um... All right, we're down to 27 torpedoes. We've used about half of the torpedoes that we have. Uh, we have mostly gotten rid of the Nomad fighters, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I wonder if we come down this way. Oh boy, there's some more. Yeah, I haven't been following this rule, but just so you know, if you're flying in any direction other than straight ahead, the Dumbfire torpedoes really don't do very well. Uh, they just kind of fly off into nothing. So, just kind of something to keep in mind. Uh, try not to... I've been trying not to do it, but I've done it a few times. Because I just can't keep my finger off the trigger. Um, oh my. More interceptors have spawned in, so... We're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, yeah, let's let's leave off the battleship for a minute. The interceptors, uh, true to earlier in the game, the interceptors are actually uh, way more dangerous to us uh, than the battleship, mostly because the battleship can't fly uh, very fast, and even though it's harder to hit the ships, I'm still in Newtonian flight mode, even against these little ships, just because it's going to, well, you know, it's it's easier to dodge, so they have a harder time hitting hitting us. Um, there's no time limit on this. We just need to survive. Um, I don't think there's a time limit. Trent, we have to go faster. Plus, we really could use the supplies that these guys are dropping. Um, now, when your NPCs do most of the damage or get the kill shot. Nah, they usually don't drop anything. That goes for any AI enemy in the game, whether it's a nomad or, or not. But, uh, yeah, she's gonna fuss at us, but... This is how you kind of survive this mission. Uh, you... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yep, they're shooting at us. Yeah, this is kind of how you survive this mission. You, uh... Okay, let's send some torpedoes at him. We almost got it. All wings, let's finish this thing off. Okay, we're close. We're close. So, a couple more torpedoes really ought to do the trick. And we are just getting flambéed here. That was a nomad ship we just collided with. Uh, just a few more shots. All right, we got it. There are no more remaining fighters, and we have no shield batteries. Oh, there are fighters. Oh, gosh. Okay, gonna have to do some dodging here. I apologize for my erratic flying. You gotta be kidding me. Order. Our Tinker Toy weapon is ready. Understood. 
Returning to base. Come on, Trent. Don't engage any Nomad fighters. We have to get back to Aurelian. All right, I'm just turning to face them while I continue to fly backwards so that they will leave me alone. Uh, and stop chewing my butt off there. Dog. You go first, Trent. I'll meet you on the surface. So again, we'll dock at the last possible second to avoid any enemy fire like that. Uh, so that's good. Probably a cutscene here. Hopefully we can uh, visit the equipment dealer. Looks like the base is taking a pounding. Maybe not. The evacuation should be almost complete. We have to land quickly. Trent, we've made modifications to the artifact. It should work now. All you need to do is activate it in the right location. What's the status out there? It's unbelievable. The nomads are constantly getting reinforcements. We won't be able to hold them off much longer. This is it. Everybody to their ships. Trent, Juni, escort the freighter with Quintain and Sinclair. All set, sir. Could Our forces will meet in the Nebula field on the far side of the system. Could I? Good luck. Have some more shield shield bat shield batteries? No. Quintain, fly ah. directly to the rallying point in the Nebula. Trent and I will provide you cover. Understood. We're on our way. Well, it's going to be interesting. Uh oh. That's a bummer. Okay, our objective is still to fly to the Nomad home system and activate the Hypergate, uh, We're which is... We're picking up another set of signals. Yet another Nomad capital ship is approaching Omicron. All combat wings, concentrate your fire on that ship and whatever else they throw at us. It is imperative that we buy our people some time to evacuate. I'm heading to the Osiris. Colonel Zane, make sure that Quintain and Sinclair get safely to the rallying point. Yes, sir. Damn it! Trent, we have to protect the transport at all costs. Quintain, keep heading toward the Osiris. Understood. We have to get out of here. We're going to head towards this waypoint. We don't have to fight all those ships, which is good, because we have no resources at this point. We, we can repair our hull a few times, but uh, not for long. So we have to be very careful. The nomads are falling back. This is Delta Leader, Colonel Zane. We're here to escort you to the Osiris. Roger that. What's the situation? We took heavy losses during the evacuation. Only four transports and about two dozen fighters made it back to the Osiris. That bad? To all units, I've arrived on the Osiris and we have reached the rallying point. Everybody, fall back. Okay. So... Yeah, I think we might get a chance to resupply on the Osiris. Gosh, I hope so. Uh, I don't think they'll make us do the last mission without docking again. But they might... Yeah, don't really recall. Colonel Zane, we're approaching the Osiris. Okay, this is it. Go ahead and land, Trent. I'll meet up with you on the deck. Okay, so this uh, will be one of the last times that we dock uh, in you know, have a chance to repair and resupply, so we have to make sure we get everything while we're here. Uh, well, cutscene time. Where is everyone? The briefing's already started. Let's go. Is everyone clear on their assignments? Uh -huh. Okay, then. Ah, Trent. Junko. Good, you've arrived. We're just now discussing our attack plan. Long-range scans have detected a nomad jump gate in the area that will lead us to our final destination. We'll fly there through the Badlands, which should give us some cover from the nomad attacks. We'll enter the jump gate and fly into what we think is the nomad homeworld. Once there, we'll have to improvise. We'll break into four attack groups. Trent, you will lead Alpha Team. I'll lead Beta, and Colonel Zane will head up Gamma. A group of heavy bombers will maintain a holding pattern until we can clear them a path. Any questions? Okay, let's go. All right. See you in space. Let's get let's go. Right, so please let me resupply. Herr von Clausen, you're coming with us? Yes, I am. 
We must still drive the nomads from our worlds and avenge those we have lost. I'm going with you because I owe them something. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good luck to us all. I like Herr von Clausen. He's a good character. Okay, good. We have an opportunity here to uh, resupply and, uh, you know, everything's really cheap. So we're going to, we're going to, I don't know that it's, I mean, it is an upgrade in a sense. Uh, in a sense, it's not, because we won't be able to sustain our firepower for quite as long as we might have otherwise. So, uh, we do, you know, a little bit of a trade-off there, but, you know, it's probably worth it. Moonstalker missile. How much damage does the Starkiller torpedo launcher do? A lot more. Okay, never mind. Thinking crazy thoughts there. Okay, uh, we need ammunition. We used a lot of Starkiller ammo. Fortunately, since, you know, almost everyone in the galaxy is dead, things are deeply discounted right now. Um, uh, nope, that shield's still better. Um, I don't feel like it's very good, but apparently it is. All right. Boy, I wish Loaded we could carry more of these. Loaded into cargo hold. Okay. I am going to give the game a quick save. Uh, LP19, we'll call it, the 19th time I've saved uh, the Let's Play. And we'll return to the game. And uh, I still think the only ship for sale is the one that we have. We'll just double check. Yep. And uh, all right, let's launch to space. Still the same mission description because it's still technically the same mission. Uh, just a lot of stages, but that's okay. And we drop out of the Osiris. Now that we're all here, let's move out. The coordinates to the Nomad Jump Gate have been uploaded into everyone's neural nets. All right, people, here we go. All right, we're going to. That's cool. The Osiris is too large for the Nomad Gate and won't be able to assist us. Right, the Osiris will not be joining us on this mission. It's fighters According only. To our scans, the Nomad Gate is close, just outside the nebula. Expect heavy resistance once we clear it. That's our strategy. The Osiris will create a diversion on the other side of the system. Hopefully, the Nomads will fall for it. Our strategy is to head directly into the Nomad Gate. We believe the alien homeworld lies directly on the other side. Our best chance is a frontal assault with everything we have. So, it was nice knowing everyone. Uh, Alright, here's the Nomad Gate. Now... Yeah, so we're not going to get another chance to resupply, so we really have to be careful. We need to tractor in every available drop. There it is. Uh, we have to make Look the most thing. of what we have. I'm not picking up any ships. Keep your eyes open. The nomads are bound to know we're coming. There! A nomad battleship! All fighters, engage the nomads. Seriously? That's lame. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna try to dodge around a little bit and hope that my uh, shield can regen. I'm trying not to use any shield batteries right now if I can help it. We're going to go into Newtonian flight for just a moment and let our shield recharge. Yeah, I know, it's kind of lame to do this, but it's kind of lame that my shield went away uh, for no apparent reason right at the beginning of the mission, too. I don't remember that happening before. Okay. Trent, take point through the gate. Everybody else, follow. 
Okay, we're not going to be in a huge hurry. We're going to let our shield regen a little bit. Um, fortunately, it recharges pretty quickly. But we just want to make sure that we have a little bit of shield uh, around us when we get to the other side. Now, our hull is damaged a little bit, but it's not worth it to use a nanobot right now. So we're going to save it. In a normal mission, I'd probably use one right now just to keep it topped off. But this is it, folks. So... No more docking. Hello. What the heck is that? Looks like a giant barrier of some sort. We must find a way to break through it. How do we do that? I'm reading several strong energy signatures on the surface. Those could be our targets. All ships head for the barrier. So there's some nomads. They're going to be fun. Uh, yeah, so this barrier thing in outer space is... Uh, well, it's bizarre. I'm not going to lie. So let's... Um, we're going to... Now's a great time to use a torpedo or three. So, uh, fortunately, the AI ships will have a little bit harder time targeting us when we're this close the to the barrier. Is gone. Good job, Alpha. You know, kind of like uh, flying close to the Death Star. <laughs> um, we're going to let off another two or three torpedoes. It's worth the ammunition at this point. Better pull up a little bit here. We've got a couple nomad fighters in here with us, but two down. Okay. We've drawn some more attention out, from the nomads, uh, from their fighters, I mean, especially. Let's see if we can whittle them down a bit. We lost Alpha two. Yeah, we're going to lose almost everybody, uh, unfortunately. Okay, so we're doing some damage. And, uh, yeah, we should have this thing whittled down before too much longer. Uh, I am making, I'm definitely exploiting the weak uh, collision damage in the game at this point. If you play this game, I encourage you to do the same. Your life will be much easier if you do. Uh, yeah, so we, we got some more nomad fighters around us, but they're a lot easier to handle in this kind of enclosed space. Um... This shield generator should be dead momentarily. The third generator. Oh gosh, there's, there's a fourth one. That's lovely. Alright, we got a lot more fighters around us at this point, mostly because some of our non uh, important NPCs are now dead. Uh, which is, you know, unfortunate, but it happens. Um, we just want to 
Avoid as much fire as we can. And concentrate as much as we can on the uh, on the power generator. And try not to worry so much about the, uh, the fighters. They're a little less important right now. All right, we've almost got the shield generator taken care of. Let's uh, let's get this nomad down because he's going to be able to shoot us. And this shield generator should Trent, go down. The shield is going down. All right, we're going to enter Trent, this you your wingo first. Dyson sphere Trent, thing. Fly through the opening in the barrier. We'll follow you. All right, folks, this is not going to be pretty, but, uh, oh, yeah, sorry wow. about that. Look at this place. The recording and like everything the going on. A complete shell around this sun. Incredible. It's similar to the old theory of a Dyson sphere. It allows the nomads to harvest all energy coming from that sun. What do we do now? Whatever it is, it's massive. Uploading coordinates. All units, proceed to King's coordinates. Trent, this could be your target. More Nomad ships! Here they come! Trent, Judy, take your wings and proceed to the structure ahead. King, go with them. All other units, stay here and engage the Nomads. Alright, it's up to us. Let's put an end to these Nomads, once and for all! Alright. We have to... Oh, goodness. We've got company. Not surprisingly. Let's dodge a bit. Try to ma not make it too easy uh, on them. We're going to, again, avoid the fighters as much as we can and concentrate our efforts on the main target, which is this... thing. Doohickey. Uh, whatchamadoozle, uh, those are all technical terms that you need not concern yourself with, but, uh, it's over here. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's see if anybody's a real city. close behind us. A giant nomad city. Not too, not too much. I'm reading a strong energy field around the structure. We have to find a way to disable it. Oh, of course we do. Oh, goodness, we're being shot at by things. Let's shoot this power generator. Oh my. Oh gosh. We can shoot some of the fighters as we need to for additional supplies. But uh, my memory of this mission is that they will just keep respawning. We're running out of time. You can't. Good shot, Trent. You can't get rid of them. Damn so. It. No effect yet. Take out another one. Trent, there are several generators powering that shield, much like the ones we destroyed earlier. Try taking them out. We'll cover you. Okay. Watch out, Pull up. Where? Be careful, Trent. Looks like okay, they're surrounded by defense platforms. Yes, they are. Okay, we're going to let our friends handle the Nomad fighters for a bit, and we're going to try, if we can, to find these power generators, and uh, let's straighten our ship out a little bit, maybe make this a little bit easier, but we're going to attempt, um, I'm not really sure exactly what it is that I'm aiming at, uh, so except for just the general structure of that thing. So that's what I'm aiming at, uh, and it seems to be working. 
but it's a little confusing because the objects, the spherical objects that they call shield generators in the last stage of this mission, you did it. The shield is coming down. You know, they don't look anything like this. Uh-oh. What's happening? Okay. Trent, I'm picking up an energy surge from your ship. 700 rills and rising. Trent, it's the artifact. Something's gone wrong. 900 rills. It's too dangerous. Trent, jettison that thing before it blows. 500 rills. No, I'm already committed. We've only got one shot at this. Trent! Okay. The hypergate is open. It's beautiful. We're doing they something. They're driving out the nomads. They can't take the redistribution of power. Now, what does that mean? I have no them. idea. No, they're gone, but they're not beaten. The order will watch this gate. We'll be ready for them next time. There is much to be done in the colonies to repair what has happened. You're needed at home, Trent. hostilities between Rhineland and the other houses came to an abrupt end, and peace has settled over the colonies. Despite many lingering questions, government officials remain tight-lipped about what has triggered this sudden change. In other news, LSF commander Junko Zane and freelancer Edison Trent, both former enemies of the state, have been granted full pardons and have received the Lone Star for Bravery, the highest decoration any individual in the colonies can receive. Though the details of their All right, folks. Liberty Ale, mister? No, thanks. I never told you. I asked the bartender about you the day we met. You did, did you? Mm-hmm. Sorry I'm late. The debriefing took longer than usual. I guess you can't rush the president. Or amnesty. Not to mention the generous reward. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Oh, really? Let me tell Junie you're here. No, Colonel Trent. Even with the colonies rebuilding and the contaminated human population restored to normal, the threat isn't over. For now, it's better I stay less well known. I just wanted to see if you would consider a proposition. What sort of proposition? To be the eyes and ears of the Order here in Liberty. Think about it. Enjoy your vacation, freelancer. I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Casper. Trent, let me introduce Mr. Harrison, our newest diplomat. Mr. Harrison, Edison Trent. Edison? What an unusual name. Uh, call me Trent. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is mine, Mr. Trent. President Jacoby is being spied on. And folks... That is it. Our mission result was a success. Now we can find a job. Oh, yep. Yeah. You do all that work, you finally graduate, and what do your parents tell you? Get a job! Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, your reward, which is what I was trying to look at, is you get some credits, but uh, there's not a lot to it, really. Um, we do advance to another level. There are more levels that you could get to. And your reputation is again reset once again. And this is the reputation that you would have uh, at the beginning uh, of this part of the game. Um, the end of the game. Uh, in the beginning of the free roam mode. Uh, no matter what you do during the story missions. This is your reputation. So, it's uh, at this point that uh, the entire universe of the game is open to you for exploration you can go do missions you can deliver cargo 
you can do anything you want. Now, at the end there, uh, Aurelian told us that he would be in touch with us, that we would be his eyes and ears in Liberty. Well, unfortunately, uh, nothing comes of that in this game. Uh, it sounded sounds like they're setting up for a sequel or something like that, but sadly, there was never a sequel to Freelancer. Uh, many, many fans of this game have always regretted that. I would say that the closest you could get to a sequel to this game would be the modification for it that I've mentioned several times in this Let's Play known as Freelancer Discovery. If you have a copy of this game or can get a copy of this game, I would highly encourage you, once you play through the storyline, to download and play Freelancer Discovery. It adds a lot of ships. It adds uh, capital ships that you can fly. It adds a lot of bases. It adds a lot of systems. Uh, to the map. Um, it adds other gadgets to your ship that you can use. Uh, but it's all very much in keeping with the lore of the game. Like it doesn't, you know, the Enterprise uh, from Star Trek isn't in there. It's all ships that you see in the game or ships that w should fit into this world. Uh, logical evolutions of ships that are already in the game. So it's a great modification that you should check out if you play this game and you like it as much as I like it and you want to have more of the same. Um, final thoughts about this game. Uh, in some ways, it's a little rough around the edges, I suppose. But given the time uh, that it came out, I think that it is, you know, pretty good overall. So, uh, you know, like I've said before, it's not a space sim for those looking for flight simulations in outer space or... Uh, games that are focused on uh, your ability to maneuver your craft in three-dimensional space under Newtonian physics. Um, but it's got a good story, and the characters are fun, and there's some cool one-liners. And, uh, yeah, it's just got a lot of good atmosphere. Uh, I played this game at an impressionable age of uh, 18 or 19, I think. I was when it came out. Uh, I'm kind of dating myself a little bit there. But... Uh, you know, I have paraphrased certain quotes uh, from this game in real life. Uh, the cool people are the ones who know where they came from. There's not very many of those. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so give this game a shot if you can find it. It is a crying shame that this game is not available on GOG or Steam or Gamersgate or somewhere. Uh, but it's a Microsoft-published game, so... Who knows? Who knows if it'll ever be released digitally. Um... It, uh, it plays very smoothly. I know it doesn't look like it from the recordings, uh, but all the graphical flicker that you've seen have been caused by a combination of the way this game's graphics work and uh, the craptacularness of my computer combined with trying to record all of it. Uh, on my end, it's been very smooth. There's been no flickering and all of that. That's really just uh, on YouTube and you know in the videos. So don't let that deter you from checking out this great game. But uh, at any rate, I am going to uh, figure out what game I'm going to do next. I know I've done two space games in a row. I did Conquest Frontier Wars, another uh, great game, and uh, Freelancer, which are both space games. But I do like games that don't have to do with outer space. Um, so I might do one of those next. Uh, I um, might do a couple Super Nintendo games that I played growing up. I might do, there's a strategy game or two I'm thinking about doing. Maybe, um, you know, Crusader Kings 2 or um, King of Dragon Pass, perhaps. Uh, in, in the space game realm, there's also the uh, Star Trek Starfleet Command series that I really like and could do some videos on, so we'll see. But at any rate, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. hope you're doing well and continue to do well, and I'll catch you in the next one. It'll be fun.